Welcome back to Dig It Detecting, everybody. Welcome also to a Saturday morning out on the detectors. And as you can see, we've got Darren over the back there joining us and Luke, and we are hunting at our, fi our favorite primary school. Uh, Darren's also just been on a run of silvers. He's just snagged three in a row. And uh, look, I've uh, been on a run of coins as well, but it's uh, three little copper coins for me, three little one cent coins, plus a bottle top. Uh, so I don't know what Darren's doing. I think he's got it in silver mode today. But he's really on the money, and uh, look, Luke's trying to do the same. Luke's trying to look for that first silver coin. And look, I've just dug out this target. As I said, we've got three little one cent coins in the pouch so far, and a bottle top. And I'm just digging out this one little target, and I'm suspecting it to be my first silver. Try and catch up with Darren. So I'm just going to give you a look as we go. Can we be so lucky? Well, there we go. No, we can't. We're on the copper coins today. That is our fourth little one cent coin in a row. You would not read about this sort of stuff. So there we go, only a one cent coin. But I tell you what, if we keep going with the big 11 inch coil, and we keep going at this site, remember we've been running the 11 inch coil a couple of times now, and we're gonna keep going up 15 and then through to the 18 inch coil and see what they can do. But we'll keep going with the 11 inch coil today, throughout the rain, and see if we can't pull our first silver coin. Rightio, on to our next target now. Luke just yelled out, yes! I thought he had something good too. Uh, but uh, he just said, I followed up with uh, Rusty Nail. So, look, we're still lacking compared to Darren. Darren is in the lead, as I said. He's got his uh, detector set to silver mode today, I'm sure. I just haven't been able to find that mode on my machine just yet. And we're still stuck on copper mode. We'll try and get out what we can today though. And this school has been giving up so much in the past. I'm sure it's still got a lot to go in the future. <laughs> like that, rusty nail. So there we go, we're keeping up with Luke, aren't we? Rusty nail. Hey Luke, we've got our rusty nail too, mate. Look out. In for the win today. All right, well we bagged a little half penny there before. 1916 he was. And now we just made our way all the way over to the back of the oval and some remember this was the silver hotspot where we found all those silver coins in the early days hunting here and they're still coming out. You just got to work a lot harder for them. And so that's what I'm thinking this guy is here. A nice little silver sixpence. it be a nice change from all the one cent coins we've been getting. And try and keep up with Darren. He's got the Aussie of the Month badge here with him today. See who takes it home. At this stage, I think it's going to stay with Darren. Right, he's in that pile there somewhere. Oh, I've seen something. That's not a coin. It's too small. We've got a cool little button, though. How awesome. So something that's been missed hunting over the back here. Let's have a look if we can see what we've got on him. Another little castle. I think I've found one of these before, hunting at the same site. So there we go, a little sword and a little axe or spear with a little castle tower how cool is that whoops we've lost him he's so tiny it's an awesome little piece though it's not silver it's gonna be like an alloy or a pewter i dare say alloy ringing up that high he's so tiny i keep dropping him so anyway into the pouch it's a cool little find it's not our silver coin though is it we need to work on that one next and bingo, check out that bad boy, would ya? We just dug about a mile down and uh, look at what we were rewarded with. Not a little, uh, not a little one cent coin this time, instead a little threepence, 1944. I just shout out to Luke that I'd uh, found silver and I found a sixpence, but there we go, a little thrip instead. I'll take him any day of the week. So 1944, little wheat thrippy, and uh, look, we're still over in the silver hot spot, so we're going to continue over here because that is where I think we're going to have the best luck. All right, so we're still plodding along through the rain, and I tell you what, this is uh, this is here for the day now. Look at it, we are just saturated. We got the wet weather gear on though, so we are dry underneath, uh, but we're horribly muddy and dirty on top. So. What you did not just see too is uh, Dominic had a bit of a sore too, so I had to go home and just help him out and sort him out with a bit of Nurofen very quickly. And so look, we are, we, well, we're lagging behind. So when we've come back here, uh, we've just jumped over to this track here, an area that I have not detected at all. And we're currently sitting right beside the, uh, well, the brand new sand pit. And I think I'm sitting on the old sand pit. See all the sand? 
Anyway, we were just digging through here and uh, look, I got a very high signal. I thought it to be another one and two cent coin because I'm on a run of brown buggers today. But look at that, we've got a 1911 one penny. And I've shot this clip about five times now. And since holding him in my hands, the rain has cleaned him up for us. So look out, how awesome. So just got to hold him out for a little bit longer and he'll be perfect. Anyway, 1911, a beautiful uh, condition one penny and he did not come. Well, he was not that deep. So let's keep going. I don't know how long we're going to plot along for today. I don't mind the rain. doesn't worry me. Especially now I'm in the wet weather gear. I'm not wet underneath, as I said. Nice and dry, nice and warm. Uh, but look, I don't know how long we're going to plot along for. It's up to Darren, it's up to Luke. Uh, but look, we might uh, we might have to kill the day early. It's just gone lunch uh, lunch. It's just gone lunch o'clock, I was going to say. Uh, so it's just gone lunch o'clock, and uh, as I said, that rain's here to stay all day. Can you see that? We've got a little toy car now. Uh, just outside the sand pit once again. I hit a high 90, didn't I? And it's going to give us toy cars. Just going down. I see a little driver sticking out. Let's see if we can see him. There he is. What you doing down there? Let's try and get you out. This is going to be a Formula One racing car. Can't get my finger behind him. There he goes. It is too. Oh, that's cool. Man, that's cool. I bet Darren doesn't have one of these. He can keep the silvers. We've got the uh, the sports cars, and it's a Matchbox, and it's a Lesney. How awesome is that? He's going to be a 1970s, because he's part of the Superfast series. I can see the Superfast up the top there. It's horribly dirty. There he is, 1973. Lesney, products, Superfast, Matchbox, missing a wheel. That is awesome. Awesome stuff. Hey, Darren. Oh, he's walking away. Luke's hiding under the tree over there. I don't blame him. Ah, uh, awesome. That is gold. I tell you what, with finds like that, we keep going all day. You would not guess what we just got. Another one. Check it, that bad boy out. We were uh, only steps away from the last one. This is a bit of a car hotspot, I'd say. As I said, the old a sand pit, and now it's been moved off to the right-hand side. Oh, look, we even found a hat. We are having a winner of a day. We're not hitting on the coins. We're hitting on all the cool stuff uh, instead. Let's keep going. Well, here is Helena. She's just finished work, but she's covering up her business name. We can see your other name though. Helena, Helen with an A. Hello, Helena. Can I have a cuddle? No. <laughs> Come here. I'm not that dirty. I want to go to the Lego store. Can I have a hug? Nope. I haven't seen you for three hours. Come here. Oh dear, all right, let's keep going a little bit further. I am horribly dirty. Well, if we did not have enough one and two cent coins there before, digging up all this morning, we definitely do now. Apart from that guy at the top, he's a five cent coin, and the others, as you can see, are a one and a two. And you can see too where they've uh, been touching up against each other in the hole for some years until we've just come along and pulled them out of the dirt now. And now look at them, they're horribly muddy and dirty seeing the light of day for the first time in many many years so anyway let's continue on it is hard to film too i will say everything is caked in mud that's so every time i need to hold the camera i need to take the glove off and that's hard enough in itself so let's keep going i plot along for a little bit longer and then we may get out of here i've got darren's attention i've just started the camera and he's looking over thinking oh what's luke got i was just thinking to myself too though as i started the camera all these cars that are driving past behind us Imagine what they're thinking. They're probably thinking, look at those three guys out there. What idiots! Why would you be detecting on a day like today? Oh dear, where else would you rather be though? Sitting at home in front of the warm fire? I don't think so. I said though, we are gonna finish up this day because, well, everything is horribly muddy and dirty as you can see. And we're just caking all of our equipment uh, in dirt. And that's okay, it'll clean up. As I said, it's not making it an easy day. It's not making it easy to film either. We have to get a video today because I don't want to miss anything. And not only that, we need more videos, more detecting videos. We've been spending too much time lately I'm mucking around with that car. And that's okay. Maybe we need to concentrate a little bit more on detecting, get some more videos up. So I always like to keep a little bit in front just in case something happens and I need an extra video spare. Oh, there he is. But what is he? We're digging quite a way off that target. I'm 
hoping for a little sixpence here. I'm digging with my left hand too, so it's extremely <gasps> hard. <laughs> I was going to say it's a two cent coin. Of course it's a two cent coin, but it's not. That's a little escutcheon. That's a little padlock lock face plate thing. How cool is that? So if Darren asks or Luke asks, we just got a sixpence out of the hole. Have it for anybody watching, you can see what we just got. A little escutcheon. How cool. So let's fill this big trench in. Let's see if we can't find one more silver before we get out of here today. <laughs> what do you got, Luke? <laughs> He's found a sheep. Here, of all places. How? Like, it does not make sense. This this area has been absolutely hammered to death. So... I was coming through as a, like a... Oh, you, like you have got a bear. A bear. <laughs> 1942? 42. Oh, look at the condition. Hmm. That's your biggest silver for today? My sure. biggest, my, only my second silver today. Second silver. Well, you've put me to shame, mate. I'm lagging behind. I'm still, I'm still on my first strip that I found 10 minutes into the hunt. So what are we, three hours later, I still haven't found another silver. He's putting us both to shame. Darren is putting us both to shame. Another penny. Another roo. Unbelievable, you two. Well, that's it. I'm packing up and going home. See yous. Hey, bingo. Check that bad boy out. I'm still puddling through the rain and all the dirt and all the mud. And look at what we just got out. And we've just got ourselves a little pendant. He's got the loop up the top. And we scratched him with the digger. <laughs> we, uh, we don't know what he is either. As you can see, it is horribly caked on mud. I'm thinking it's going to be a 1953 a Queen's Coronation little pendant. Uh, that's about generally the size of these. And uh, look, they have that little flattened off loop. They don't have that perfect little eyelet loop. Uh, they generally have that sort of oval shape rounded off one. And that's sort of what I'm seeing throughout the dirt there. So look, a hard one for us to judge right now or know exactly what it's going to be. Uh, one for us to clean up once home and show a look uh, once we get uh, well once we get it all clean so let's put him on the digger there let's fill our trench in darren's got the coat off too so look out it's still raining but he doesn't need the coat anymore he's a man on a mission and last time we were here he pulled some 13 silver coins hunting there with uh, with his lovely wife michelle and she did a great job as well uh, but look darren took the cake that day and i think he's going to take it again today he's got the macca's aussie of the month badge with him I dare say he's going to hold on to it and take it home again. So anyway, two hands, fill this hole in, fluff all the grass back up. We'll get you on to the next target. All righty, we're over with Darren for this next target. And uh, look, Darren, how have you been going today, mate? Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. What do you got, 13 silvers again? <laughs> a dozen, maybe. Half, oh, just half a dozen, is that all? Going pretty well. I've got one. I've got one little thrip, and Luke's got two silvers. And here's Darren. I just pluck it about like no tomorrow, like chook feed. So I just watched him get a threepence out of there, a half penny out of there, and now he's moving forward to a ha 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 one cent coin. Yes, I knew your bad luck would catch up to you one day, mate. I just said to Darren though, every time he comes to this school, he's on fire. I don't know what it is. It's that uh, look. It can't be the eight hundred because last time you were using the nine hundred, and you still killed it. See, it's not the detector, it's the man driving it. Well done, Darren. Alrighty, we're still over in the back corner with Darren, and as you've just seen, he just nailed three coins in a row. A little threepence, a little half penny, and then a little one cent coin. He's just walked himself forward about another metre, and, uh, well, mate, I think you got number seven. Number seven silver. What's it gonna be, though? It was a really sketchy sound, too, and when Darren first stuck the little shovel in, he goes, oh, I think someone's dug this. Someone's someone's been chasing it already so there you go they've uh, they've chased the signal and they couldn't find it and they've left the sixpence in the hole for darren to pick up later just what you needed mate you needed another silver in your collection today didn't you oh, yeah. <laughs> you're running low how's your pouch feeling mate there'd be a bit of weight in there now wouldn't there be weighing you down there is a bit in there, actually. silver's heavy so well done darren he chased the target he uh, he persisted and he got out a uh, a nice coin for his efforts so as I said, it had been dug out before and uh, someone had just walked away. So may not have been able to locate the target. And to be honest, Darren was struggling too. He went down to the to the front and then he turned out he was on the back there. So maybe the coin was sitting on its side and giving off those funny numbers. Either either, Darren snagged it. Well done, mate. 
Well, we might as well just stay with Darren filming all day because he's on fire. Remember the hole that he just dug for the uh, the little sixpence there? Well, he just got another target in the same hole. That's where someone was digging off to the side, trying to go after this piece, I dare say. Darren's just got it out with the sixpence. So, mate, as I said, we might just hang around for you uh, with you and just film you all day. I might just strap a camera to your head and get all my videos that way. What do you reckon? I, I can that was a I can narrate them all later. <laughs> do all the voicing over. That's a cool piece though. What do you reckon it's off? Something. A cow. It's a fancy yeah, yeah, cow yeah. tag. Cow's neck. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a uh, like a doorbell plate or you know something that you'd have sitting at your front door. Mm. A real nice decorative ornate plate around the doorbell or around the door knocker or whatever. A it's got a mount in the middle. Yeah, a bit of thread in the middle. Yep, so there we go. He may have been a decorative plate affixed on the front of the door. Who knows? Maybe it was off the old shop next door. Oh. Uh, well done, mate. God, on fire. It'll display well, too. It will display well. Right next to the sixpence. How's your lunch going, mate? Look at the dirty hand. <laughs> Added flavour. Uh, so we're just hanging around with Darren because Darren's on fire. What do you get? Ah, uh, just heap one cent coins. Oh, <laughs> Here's, another one. Here's another one, another one cent coin. Uh, we better get this one on film too, because no doubt it'll be another bloody silver. He's been on fire. Silver there, silver there, silver there, silver there, a half penny over there. <laughs> so you're responsible for the hole. Because he dug out a hole that was already pre-dug and got a silver out of it. Did you pinpointer? A pinpointer. Oh. <laughs> so you got another silver? How many silvers is that today? Oh, he, uh, he's up to 17 now. <laughs> it's giving a rusty signal. There we go. His luck has run out. Nah. Look, he's been on fire though. Got a silver and a oh, cool. A nail through a florin. <laughs> a what? Nail through a florin? Take that any day of the week. Wow. What you just did. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Yes, he did it. Uh, what is it, Goldie? Twenty one, two bars. Two dollar gold coin, just what you need. Gold with the silver. Bottle top. You were jinxed. The bad luck is starting to roll in. Might have a coin inside it. <laughs> Oh, wild Just like your nailed florin. <laughs> nah, they're what if it was a round 50 cent coin? Yeah, I don't have one. I've got about 10 at home. I've dug heaps over the years. They're nothing special anymore. They're not worth much, too. Uh, yeah. Not when you've got so many. <laughs> no, nah, I've only found one. I found one round 50 cent coin. Uh, what, first or second year detecting with the 800 and uh, none since. So it's the same as my Gothic Florin. I took about three years to find one. Uh, three years later, I'm still looking for my next. So same as uh, Sovereign. I found my first gold Sovereign within the first year of detecting. Uh, five years later, I'm still looking for the next. Funny how things work like that. Maybe I'm just not trying hard enough. Maybe I need to try harder. This is a goth. Can't pick up on it. Oops, Big silver like that. Should be screaming. Uh, root oh, that's, that's a pendant. Oh. <laughs> How is this even possible? What have you got your machine set on? Ah, let go of it. Perfect, perfect <laughs> settings. Oh, oh, I don't have that one. Oh, I know what that is. That is a township of, well, this township. Uh, commemoration token for the end of World War Two, peace and victory. Well, it's not a peace and victory, but it's 1945 it township of this it. town. <laughs> I won't wub it. I won't wub it. 
Well done, mate. So, yeah, awesome find. I've got about four or five of them. But, uh, look, you won't find them outside of this township. So, well, very rare anyway. They were only, only uh, well, only distributed around the town here. So, and if you went up to, well, where you're from, you'll find similar ones up there with your town's name on them. Oh, did they do them? They did do them. Oh. So, there we go. So, you have to research this one when you get home. But I'm sure he'll say the Shire and Borough of, yep. yeah, such and such. Mm -hmm. So, there we go. Well done, Darren. Pendants, silvers, pennies, oh, ornate things. I, I'm going to strap a camera to his head, mate. He's going to get all the filming for me now. I'm just going to narrate it later. Yeah. Yep, so well done. And as I said, it'll have the town's name on it once you clean it up. And it'll have uh, our coat of arms shield on it. So our actual borough coat of arms shield. So it looks very pretty. Very cool. Ooh. Well done. God, I'm getting away from you. <laughs> keep, keep that um, McDonald's. Yeah, Aussie the month man over the back there. I think he takes it again today. Oh, how cool is this one? I was just walking away from Darren. Go back onto the detector. Uh, can you spot what I'm looking at right there in the grass? We have a little Lego man. I dropped by one of the kids there last week, I dare say. Oh, look out. He's a bad guy too. He's got the, uh, got the dollar sign on him. He looks like he's got about a three o'clock shadow of shave on him. He's got some pretty mighty uh, looking grips and fists on him there too. He's a bad guy laying in the grass. Maybe he can go rob all Darren Silvers for us. Alrighty, so last target for today there, guys. And as said, we are going to pack up and get out of here. It is just caked in, well, stuff, dirt, mud. Uh, look, it is just a horrible day. So I don't really know what inspired us to come out detecting today. Uh, probably the fact that I have not done any detecting uh, for the past, well, nearly week. So I really wanted to get out uh, itching to get out for a dig today. But look, I'm hoping... This is going to finish us off with a little silver here because we're extremely deep. He was the right target, the right sounding signal. And I'm so, uh, sorry I have not gave you much of a listen to anything today. As you can imagine, it's been extremely hard to film and detect on, uh, on a day like today. So let's see what we've got hiding down here. Got this real sort of clay layer around the back too. So it's making it really hard to get around the back of the coin without hitting it. He's still there. He is still there. Let's go to the front. I sort of wanted to do all this live and see if I can get that last coin out on camera. It's not really playing the game. There it is. That's not a coin though. It's actually really cool. That's a little fob watch. That's a tiny little watch. And so there we go. That is a cool find to finish off the day. It's not our silver coin. And uh, look, we don't have any clock hands left on the, on the face there. So we can't tell the time. But that's the, probably the smallest little fob watch I've ever found. And generally like nurses and all that sort of carry these. They have them on a little chain on the front there of their uniform. So maybe it's a nurse's watch. A little nurse's fob watch. I don't know. Or maybe just a little uh, top coat fob watch. Awesome piece to finish off the day though. And as I said, once home, we're going to clean up all our gear, all our cells, all our finds, and look, we'll show you a look as we go. Look at that. Nice old bit of glass in the same hole. So put him in the pouch, and as I said, Fill our, star, uh, fill our hole in, clean up all our gear, and we'll see you at home. Alrighty, guys, so here we are back at home, and uh, look, tucked away in the nice, dry, warm shed. We've all got a coffee in hand, and uh, look, we've changed clothes. I got out of all the wet weather gear. It was a pretty hectic day out digging, but we've had a productive day, which you can see on the table there. So let's just take you through the rubbish first very quickly. We've kept it on the floor. As you can see, I dug quite a bit of rubbish, even the old brass a tap fitting. Uh, Luke's dug a few pool uh, tabs and bottle tops, even got the old toothpaste by the looks. Heap of pool tabs, though. What were you doing? Chasing gold sovereigns. <laughs> early thrippences even and as you can see over the back here Darren has a ton of rubbish but that's okay because he's got a, a ton of good finds out as well so little bullet there mate look out so uh, as you can see Darren's got the most sort of rubbish but he has got most sort of finds which we'll get to in a second I'll take you over the back and show you Luke's first Luke did you not clean up your coins oh, was I was supposed to you were supposed Sorry. to clean up your coins uh, never mind, that's alright, we can see what's going on. He's got a student council badge there, he's got a ram head shilling, 1942, and he's got a 1950, a little threepence, and a 1912 full penny. A couple of uh, half pennies there, and a bunch of one and two cent coins. Uh, this to me looks like the clip off an old dog lead. And uh, he's also got a motorbike, no front wheel, so you have to do wheelies all the way home, mate, mm. just, to, just to keep it level. 
And moving over here, off to the side and uh, off to the corner, uh, we're going to keep uh, keep the middle for Darren because he's got the most, uh, is what I've done over the back here. So we've got the old Hot Wheels car, 2003 he is. Uh, we also had the 19, what was he, 1976 Lesney Products, little Matchbox Super Fast Series, little race car, look out. Speed Demon. So we've got uh, two pennies or two full pennies up there, another two beside, uh, plus the next one. Oh, no. I've wrecked everything there. Uh, we also had a little thrippence and the, uh, the little Lego man was holding him up, but unfortunately I just knocked him out of the hand. Uh, so 1944 little thrippence, a run of two cent coins and a run of one cent coins. That's all I seem to be getting today. Uh, Four dollars in gold coins, the awesome uh, little button with the uh, the castle and the uh, the sword and the spear on him. Uh, we also had a 1954 uh, Elizabeth a royal visit token or pendant uh, here to Australia, commemorating her visit to Australia. So what do we say? 1953 coronated. Uh, so Luke said before that would probably be uh, one of her first visits over here to Australia and a pendant to commemorate it. So we've also got the little fob watch and you can see where he would have broke off up at the top there. A really cool old piece and you can see some of the uh, internal mechanisms at the back there. So awesome stuff. Let me take a breath. Oh, plus a little Lego guy. How cool is he? The bank robber. Let's put him over the back here. See if you can steal a few of Darren Silver's while we're going. So take a breath here. Uh, we've got two, four, six, eight, uh, nine, plus two pennies stuck together. That makes 11 pennies for Darren. Unbelievable. Uh, plus he's got a heap of half pennies here. One that is flattened, hammered. Uh, so he's found a hammered coin. Uh, he's got two, four, six, seven half pennies. And this one in particular is in cracker condition and quite an old one coming off this school, 1880 something. Uh, he's also got the nice ornate in, uh, piece there in the middle. I'm not quite sure what that's going to be off. Uh, also, what? Four two cent coins and a few one cent coins. Is that it? Clay, what's going on, mate? Because uh, look at look how many I've got, twos and ones, and even Luke, he's got a bunch. Darren seems to be avoiding all the brown buggers, and I don't know how he's doing it. Anyway, he's also got the um, the awesome little pendant there, 1945 Peace and Victory pendant, and it's got some ripper gold gilding still attached. And we had the little button, or two little buttons, one porcelain by the looks. I uh, don't know how he found him. He must have spotted him in the hole and a little brass button beside him. Now, let's have a look at the silvers and uh, let's see if we can't steal one off Darren because he's got plenty there. We've got three ram head shillings, a 1943, a 1952, and a 46. Three sixpences up the top and four threepences down below. And uh, Luke and Darren were talking the other week and what'd you say, Darren? Uh, the next time, well, Luke said, oh, shouldn't be much left to find at the old school there. Uh, we think we've pretty much covered it and done it. And Darren said, oh, next time I go there, what'd you say? I'm going to pull a... Is that a be able to pull out another 10 silvers. What do you got there? 10 silvers. 10 silvers <laughs> minus one, nine, because we've had a robbery. No. <laughs> uh, well done. Well done, guys. Look, a great day. It was raining all day and uh, it's still raining outside, still misting. And we knew that and we still went ahead with it anyway. So look, it has been a productive day. It's been a fun day. It's just been a little bit wet and muddy in between. So Darren's killed it. Luke's killed it. I've got one silver. I've had a great day. And uh, look, we've, uh, we've shot a video and had fun. So anyway, guys, that is about it for us today. I really hope you enjoyed. And uh, look, we'll be back again cleaning up the school for next time. Hope to see you there. Cheers.